There are known problems with this game. Well, that's a, that's a nice way of putting it. This is Tattoo Assassins for the arcade. And, uh, well, actually, I'm not sure if this was ever actually released in the arcades. I can't really find any evidence that it actually was. Now, yeah, just look at this. I mean, you kind of have an idea of where the game's going from here. I mean, you got a, a midget in a diaper holding a bong. I mean, what can I really say to make that any more funny than it actually already is? I think maybe the only thing funnier is that the developers thought that that looked really badass or something. But yeah, this is a response to Ursul Jr.'s uh, review of this, and if you want to see that first, go ahead and click on the link below this video. He was also the one that suggested that I do Survival Arts a couple of months ago. And I remember when I got his request, it was also coupled with this game. He also requested that I review this game. But right after playing Survival Arts, I'm like, you know, nothing could be worse than that. I'm not even going to bother with the other one. I seriously thought no game could be worse than Survival Arts, but boy was I wrong. This is every bit as bad, if not worse, than Survival Arts. And I tried to get this review out last weekend, but yeah, and I kind of explained this. I tried to, rec tried to record it, as I always do, but I forgot to record the sound, so I had to play it all over again this weekend. And I found out that I can't record from my speakers anymore for whatever reason. Cam Studio doesn't let me do that anymore. So what I ended up doing was I just... <laughs> look at that shit. I just ended up putting the microphone right next to the speakers. And so I think I actually sneeze while playing it, and if you hear that... If you hear that, that's uh, and that's what it was, is that I couldn't record directly from the speakers. I had to put a microphone right next to it. So yeah, the storyline is pretty cheesy. If, been, if you've been reading it, you already know. But essentially, there's some sort of magical ink or some stupid-ass gizmo that and when they get tattooed by it, it gives these characters powers, uh, powers that mirror Mortal Kombat characters. Now, did you see that right there? It said that this is created by the same guy that created... Uh, created Back to the Future. Now I'm wondering, was it the same guy that created Back to the Future the movie or the NES game? As my money is on the latter. And, uh, oh yeah, just to, just to point this out before I forget, the, com the command line argument that you give to MAME in order to play this is tat ass. Which I think is pretty funny. Alright, now let's start this shit up. Yeah, it shoots from Maya and AC Current. And then, they, and then there's this guy, Derek O'Toole. I like, they really put a lot of cr creativity into that name. You know, these other guys have at least semi-inspired names, and they just have a Derek O'Toole. There, I chose Truck. He's the only guy that looks like he's actually a fighter. And you get to choose from different weapons. I'm not really sure. I don't use them, so I think my guys was Cigarette of Death or something stupid. All right, now... I found out, like the first time playing through this, that there's a really easy way of beating this, beating all your opponents, and essentially it was almost the same as uh, as I did in Survival Arts, where you just jump kick your opponent all the time. Now, if you connect with the jump kick, you just back up and jump kick him again. Now, if he ducks, as you will see, and you don't hit him with the jump kick, then you just crouch down and you uppercut. Observe, by the way, I might call your attention to. As you beat your opponent, his life bar explodes in a manner kind of like Primal Rage. So this game doesn't just rip off Mortal Kombat, it rips off several several games, really. And uh, I just want to show you this next part, which is just a blatant rip off of Mortal Kombat. Now watch this. I think I've seen that somewhere before. Yeah. And you don't really have to input any... Uh, any fatality code do that, he just duck down an uppercut and he just automatically slices his head off. You'll see another couple of goofy fatality moves, or I don't know what to call them really, they don't kill him, they're just goofy looking. Don't really have to do anything special, just mash some buttons and you usually pull off something. Oh god, are the sound effects annoying. What is this? Name's Maya, didn't there? Wasn't there a character in Killer Instinct named Maya? Just a blatant ripoff. I like that, just if you like... I, I just like how when you beat your opponent, they just like lie in a pool of their own blood, even if all you did was kick them in the shin. It's just kind of stupid. Alright, I think we're going to skip out of here right now. You get to see one of my personal favorite fighters in this game, AC Current, who 
happens to rip off two Mortal Kombat characters at once. That's the only thing unique about this character, is that he rips off two people at once. Rips off Raiden, as you can see right there, and he also he looks just like Johnny Cage, right? Looks like they took a photograph of this guy, and then they just like... Looks like they just went in a paint program and drew a bunch of lines over him. I mean, how shitty could this possibly get? Alright, let's skip ahead. Here's some more crappy sound effects. Here's Hammer Time! And listen to this. Oh god, that annoys the shit out of me. I cannot stand that noise. Anyway. Yeah, this guy's obviously a ripoff of DJ. God, that noise fucking irritates me. Let's just skip it so I don't have to listen to it. And here I'm gonna show you one of these badass fatalities here. You just turn the guy into Whistler's mother. I mean, what the hell is that? By the way, yeah, I was just mashing buttons randomly. I don't know what I did to do that. Anyway, let's move on, see who our next fighter is. Alright, our next opponent is... Well, he's supposed to be an Indian, but he looks more like a pimp to me. I mean, what tribe wears a fedora with a single feather in it? Is it the Cherokees? I don't remember. Now there you see he's obviously ripped right out of Mortal Kombat 3. It's clearly Nightwolf. Good god. Oh, let's just skip it. Oh, wait, he actually beats me. Let me show you this. God, whoever made this game was on crack. Alright, we can skip ahead now. Our next opponent wears skates while she's fighting you. Now, I thought I was... When I was thinking about what I was going to say for this review, I thought that I was going to be really witty and say that she's like a Nancy Kerrigan. But... I went back through and I read the bios for these characters, and she's supposed to be like Nancy Kerrigan. Her motivation for entering this is because one of her, like, opponents had her legs broken or something. It's really obviously supposed to be Nancy Kerrigan. It even looks like her. Well, it looks like her after she's been through a meat grinder or something. I mean, what the hell? Look at this. It looks like she's got... I mean, look at this. It looks like there's an open wound on her stomach, and it looks like her leg is sliced to hell. I don't know. Whatever. Let's just skip it. Skipping ahead to the bosses, and I actually skipped one of the bosses, which was like a rhinoceros or something. That's dumb. No, we're fighting a uh, like a zombie. His name's Deke K. That's my favorite name in this game. Deke K. It would have been witty, but is Deke even a first name? That's stupid. Anyway, yeah, these bosses, you just fight them like anybody else. There's really nothing else to them. Let's show you another really lame boss here. Now just... What the hell do you call this? I mean, really. Could it get any more lame? This is lamer than Richard Simmons from Survival Arts. Now yeah, the only hard part about this boss is that you're just gonna be laughing uncontrollably. And then you lose, like I just did right there. Anyway, get ready folks for the main boss. Here he comes. So yeah, right about now I'm realizing that I didn't capture the entire game as I had thought. Uh, and this cuts out at the somewhere in the middle of the match. And one thing's for sure, I'm not going to go back and play it just to get that last little bit of footage. Uh, the ending is horrible, all they do is... You can't even see the ending. Main doesn't emulate this 100% correctly, so it just, it's just all jumbled anyway. But, yeah, I'll just say my last little piece about this. Um, game sucks. I don't know what else to say. It's on par with survival arts. Just do yourself a favor.